Hi, I'm Mark Lawler and I'm back with another review. Um, I listened to your advice and hopefully I will improve now. Um, so today I watched a Japanese film called The Grateful Dead, released by Third Window Films, um, which is under Arrow, I believe. The film is directed by Eiji Uchida. Uh, it's a director I've never heard before. I haven't watched any of his films, but there definitely are interesting ideas in this movie. The movie is about a young adult called Nami. Neglected by her parents at a young age, she has now grown up to have a very obscure hobby. After inheriting a small fortune from her father, she now pursues that hobby. What her hobby is, is basically stalking lonely people. So she goes to the park, um, she will hide out on rooftops, and she will basically watch out for people she thinks who are lonely uh, or live in solitude. Um, she calls these people solitarians. She mostly seems to stalk old men. There's also another person she stalks who I like to call the Pigeon Man, which is a guy who just dances around feeding pigeons popcorn. He is very aggressive to anyone that comes near him and only seems to care for the pigeons. She keeps a journal of what these people do every day. Basically because she's been neglected by her father and her mother and even her sister to some extent at a young age, she is now pretty much turned into a sociopath. She attempts to get their attention uh, at a young age by hitting children at school and basically trying to garner attention from just doing bad things. At one point she starts buying stuff off one of those shopping shows and she starts buying more and more stuff, stealing money from her father's wallet after her mother leaves to work in Africa with needy kids, neglecting her own kids to help other kids. So we follow Nami about on her day-to-day -day life uh, and what she does and who she spies on and she has this sort of weird relationship with her sister. Um, she accidentally walks into an area she knows she has to avoid because her sister lives around that area. Her sister comes out of a grocery store and catches her and invites her around your house. Nami has a niece and the, she doesn't even say a word at her house and her niece is just basically throwing pillows at her and torturing her but she doesn't move a muscle she just doesn't want to communicate with her sister at all. Later on um, she is outside another grocery store uh, and an old man walks out and these women uh, think they recognize him from a tv show and he basically attacks them with his walking stick and Nami becomes fascinated with this old man and follows him home. At this point he becomes infatuated with him and basically puts up a tent on a nearby building roof outside his house and watches through his window with a telescope. He has no visitors and he watches pornography. So she spends a lot of time just watching this old man and we start to learn about him. So his son comes around and he doesn't even want to talk to him. So eventually we find out that he actually is upset about being alone. And at the same time, uh, a Christian comes around to teach him about God and his ways. He lets this girl in and she basically converts him into a born again Christian. This helps him get over his past problems and invite his family back into his house. Nami sees this, not only is the old man talking to his family again, but he invites some Christians into his house as well. And this is when Nami loses the plot completely. What once was just stalking this man has now become an infatuation that she cannot let go of. She ends up tormenting him and basically invading his life and ruining it. Nami wants this man to be hers and hers alone and nobody else's. I don't really want to say what happens afterwards as I feel like it would spoil the film. Basically it becomes a sort of misery sort of story after that. Now this type of storyline has been done many times. I myself have even done a short film similar with a man tied to a chair um, and a man who's just obsessed with keeping him there. But what I like about this film is it does something slightly different. There is a bit more of a theme to it. It's not just someone who's a bit crazy and obsessed with this, you know, man. The theme of this is loneliness and living in solitude and how they are connected. Just because someone is living in solitude does not mean they technically enjoy it. I myself was at a point in my early 20s where I didn't really leave the house, I didn't go out and socialise that much. It's only in my mid-20s that I really try and socialise more and it definitely made my life a whole lot better and it is what I really wanted in life in the end. Solitude is a comfort zone for some people. The problem is it becomes too comfortable and it's very hard to kind of escape from that. The three main characters I want to talk about, the Pigeon Man, the Old Man and Nami. 
Each one of them are very different, but they all have the sort of same issue. That issue being they all live in solitude and they are all lonely. At first, we even think the pigeon man, there is no way this person even wants to attempt to bond with people. We just don't get that impression from him because he doesn't seem to have any personality whatsoever. But even by some of the things he does later in the film, we know how he is feeling deep down because we can compare his actions to the actions of our main character, Nami. Each of these characters is trying to connect with another just in very different ways. The old man succeeds because he finds religion. That's what helps him and it helps him connect with his family again and complete strangers who just tried to help him for no reason other than to do good. It isn't a film for everyone. Um, if you don't think about it, it literally feels like it's a film where it's just some crazy lady who's obsessed with an old man and nothing more. Um, and originally I thought it was that until it got closer to the end and I started to see uh, the resemblance between the characters and started to compare um, how they acted in certain situations. So in a real sense we can connect as an audience with the theme of the film of loneliness and living in solitude. Even if you don't know what that feels like, if you've never really felt lonely, if you've never lived in solitude, the theme is easy to understand, I think. I don't think you need to have felt those feelings to really get what the story is about. It seems that loneliness can really drive someone a bit insane sometimes. Maybe not to the extent of this young lady, but to the point of the old man, where I think his situation is slightly more relatable. My only issue is a disconnect with the characters on a personal level. Yes, we understand why they're doing the things they do, but in terms of their personality, we just don't get it. They're too obscure. At least two of them are, the Pigeon Man and Nami. The Pigeon Man sits in the park, feeds birds all day, dancing around, feeding them popcorn, and doesn't really communicate. Nami just spies on people. Also, Nami had a childhood where she's neglected. Maybe there is some connection people can make. I personally can't. But the issue is how she acts as an adult. She acts in a very obscure way, just constantly following people. Following people who may have had a tragic childhood like her. She doesn't really know for sure, but she's more interested than weird people and doesn't like ordinary people. The old man is the only person we can kind of connect to because he would be the most ordinary out of the whole lot. The only issue is most of his backstory is kept hidden and there is a good reason for that but it's involved with the ending but I can't go into that. But needless to say it does have its pros and it does have its cons and the cons are what keep it from being a great film I feel. Because of this disconnect with the characters there is no emotion in the film. We don't see the old man until a lot later. We learn more about um, Nami's backstory and she basically turns into a nucleus, which is hard to relate to, unfortunately. The old man, we probably could learn more about. The problem is if we learn too much, it would kind of spoil things near the end. Could it survive without that ending? Definitely. But it was a nice wee twist that I didn't see coming. He is the person we need to connect to because he is the victim in everything. When I say victim, the victim in the film. Uh, obviously, all these characters are victims of just, you know, their childhood and just circumstances. Overall, I didn't get a massive amount of this film in terms of its characters, but in terms of the theme, I really liked it. Basically, that solitude is something that we seek for comfort, but deep down, we do want that connection with another human being. Overall, I don't know if it's a film I can recommend to people. It's, um, it's a film that's really hard to find, and when looking it up, I can't really find a lot of information about it. I enjoyed it for what it was, but I don't think I'll be watching it again anytime soon. So overall, I'm going to give this film a 6 out of 10. So that was my second review. I'd really appreciate it if you'd comment below, let me know just exactly how I did. Did I improve over last time? Is there still improvements I could make? Um, so goodbye, and please watch my videos. Yeah, I need to turn this off.